recording. Okay, so now we have question number 16 from summer 2014, paper 2, variant 1. And in this question, we've got a question to do with indices. So here it says 2 to the power of 24 to the power of a half equals p to the power of 4. First of all, let's just take the 2 to the power of 24 part. Okay, 2 to the power of 24, let's take that part. 2 to the power of 24 to the power of a half. Now, one of the rules of indices that we should have learnt was, if you have a number which is raised to a power, and it's raised, that whole thing is raised to another power, you multiply the powers. Okay, so for here you're going to have 2 to the power of 24 times a half. Powers multiplied by a half. You multiply the powers, that gives you 2 to the power of 12. So we now, we now know that 2 to the power of 12 is equal to p to the power of 4. Okay, now, for these to we have to find the value of p. Now, for them to be the same, okay, what you have to um, do is, in this case, the bases, all right, this is 2, this is 4. Okay, if I make the powers the same, then the bases will be the same, because these have to be equal to each other, right? So if I make the powers the same, if I make this something to the power of 4, then they'll be the same. So I've got to think, how can I make this something to the power of 4? Okay? That's one way of doing it, all right? Um, there's um, other ways of doing it as well, which I'll show you in a minute. But this way is, <coughs> I can say this is going to be 2 to the power of 4. What number do I have to raise that to to make it 12? 3, right? 4 times 3 is 12. So I can say that... Um, so to the power of, I have to make it to the power of 4, not to the power of 3, uh, 3, the power of 4. I'm going to raise it to the power of 4, so it's the same as that. So 2 to the power of 3 to the power of 4, that is the same as 2 to the power of 12, isn't it? Yes? So now I can say that the P is the same as 2 cubed. P must be the same as 2 cubed. Like the base here, this is like 2 to the power of 3, which is 8. 8 to the power of 4 is equal to P to the power of 4. If 8 to the power of 4 is equal to P to the power of 4, P must be the same as 8. Okay? There's other ways of doing it. For example, what we could do is, we could just say, let's square both sides. So we have 2 to the power of 24 to the power of a half equals P to the power of 4. Get rid of the, the half. That, the half means square root. If I square both sides, this side will become two, per, 2 to the power of 24, and this will be, if you square it, it's going to be p to the power of 8. Okay, then I've got to take the 8 through to both sides, but I think this way is simple. Alright, now for b, it says simplify q squared plus q squared over q to the power of a quarter times q to the power of a quarter. Now q squared times q squared is 2q squared. Right? And you've got q to the power of a quarter times q to the power of a quarter. Well, remember, when you have two numbers which have the same base, and you're multiplying them together, you add the powers. So this will be q to the power of a quarter plus a quarter, which is a half. Okay, now what this means is, this is 2, q to the power of 2, divided by q to the power of a half. And the other rule we learned is when you have two numbers to the same base, and you divide them, you do what to the powers? Subtract. You subtract the powers. Okay, so this is going to be 2 to the power of q, and you're going to have 2 minus a half. Now, 2 minus a half is 3 over 2, 1 and a half, which you can write better to write it as an improper fraction there. So the answer is 2q to the power of 3 over 2. Okay? All right, so that's how you deal with that question. And then we're done.